Well, El Technical has ended with St. Andrew Technical getting the better of Kingston Technical. But now we turn our attention to the second of our double headers, the Battle of the Colleges. Kingston College takes on Campion College. It's the fifth seed against the 12th seed here at the Ashenheim Stadium at Jamaica College. Yeah, still here at the Ashenheim Stadium. As I said, it's the fifth seed. Kingston College taking on Champion College. It's red and white against purple and white. Listen, it's a big game and you need to tune in and watch keenly. Dean Smith and Lejay Williams, they're still upstairs. Let's go up now for the game. Thank you so much, Kimani. That's the view of the mountains that surround the JC Ashenheim Stadium on Old Hope Road in the capital city of Kingston. Let's have a quick look at how Campion College would have advanced. They were in Zone F in the Manning Cup. They were second place to St. George's College at 22 points with seven wins, a drawn two losses. 22 points in total. Total goal difference of nine. St. George's College, of course, being the top team in that group. Kingston College, they were placed in the proverbial group of death and a young team they were able to escape the shadow the valley of the shadow of death 28 points nine wins one draw beating heidel who were perhaps the more fancy team with a host of premier league level players 28 points for kingston college and they had the number five seed here's the head-to-head -head. kingston college beating champion 2-0 and 2-1 in 2014 in 2015 they returned and Kingston College also beat them 4-0 in the first leg, then 6-0 in the second. But Campion has uh, certainly had a revival of sorts. And with the Kingston Football Academy being, desert, being housed at the Campion College, so much development for their players. It's the Battle of the Colleges. Not the college's battle that we would have perhaps been used to in former years. But Campion College, from the triumphant at the under-16 level in the urban era, youth competition put on by Issa, they definitely are on the upward path in schoolboy football in Jamaica. I'm Dean Smith, and with me is Lejay Williams, and we are partners in commentary, but we had different paths at the secondary level. And Lejay, it is a, certainly an interesting battle and quite fitting commentary here. Yeah, I think that they're doing this on purpose at this point, matching us up as they know that we'll be rivals on the pitch for 90 minutes. Maybe they want a bit of banter, but I know Dean, me and you, we're too, too nicely mannered to go at it on commentary, but we're going to see our two former schools go at it on the field. We see Robert Siao there, a returning member, one of the few returning members from KC's team last season. And this KC team have been on a mission. They lost their first game, which was eventually redacted, and they got back that point. And since then, they really have been on the warpath. Kingston College, their 10 group games, nine wins and a draw officially, 35 goals for, three against, one of the best defensive records in the competition and they'll be going against a team who their defense is nothing to scoff at either but their attack a bit dull let's see how this one will play out the first leg of Manning Cup second round action for this one Campion College versus Kingston College it's time it's the battle of the colleges here at Jamaica College two schools with college behind their name both schools have the pronunciation Fortis a part of their motto. Which one will have the superior strength, the superior skill, and the superior number of goals? Kingston College in their popular purple. Campion College in their famed red and white. We now pause for the national anthem.
the national anthem of Jamaica and the players being asked to have their pitches in a short while. Here are the team of referees with a charge over this encounter. They have their confabulation discussing their strategy, how they'll communicate together to ensure that the game flows as naturally as possible. Romario Francis with the whistle, Damien Williams and Sean McCarthy, his assistants, and the fourth official, Malika Reed. Quite an extended talk they're having. Let's have a quick look at the lineup for Campion College. In goal, Alex James, Jade Morgan, Marcus Steele, Brandon Mohammed, Matthew Rule, Elijah White, Just Less, Jelani Harvey, Tyler Faulkner, Nikolai Banton, and Shandon McFarlane. They're coached by Ashton Blackson. Yeah, not a lot of members on the bench for Campion College, but look out for their number 18, Nikolai Banton. Barbados under 15 international. He'll be looking to string those passes in midfield. The two captains, Elijah White and Robert Sow, have the coin toss. Romario Francis giving them their instructions. And, uh, Greeting the referees. Champion College. Seemingly will have the kickoff. But here's the lineup for Kingston College. In goal, they have Malik Williams. They have a back four, Robert Sow, O'Neill Bryan, Rajay Zimenez, and Kamal Patterson. Three in the middle of the park. Dejon Green, Jahi McLean, and Alex Hislop. And the wingers, Domaine Smith and Kimani Reese. And the point man, Demario Daly, the number nine, had a spectacular finish was a fan goal of the week this week. They're coached by Vassal Reynolds. Yeah, it's a Vassal Reynolds coach team, so I expect them to be really compact and really be looking to really push the limits of this Campion College team. And as you mentioned, the danger man, Demario Daly, 10 goals already this season, and some of them as stylish as you'll ever see. Well, let's see if they can turn on the styles here. Demario Daly, the son of a former Paul Volta for Kingston College, called him Love It, had a brother called Like It, and let's see if he will be it. Here's Campion College pushing forward. It's a, it's an offside, and just less. Was about to shoot, but danger averted, at least on the immediate. Here's Kingston College trying to build a play. Dejon Green plays for Harborview at the senior level. Here's Demain Smith, sends it across. That's broken up by Campion, but Kingston College still in possession, still very loose here. McLean trying to connect with Reese. Neil Bryan transferred from Titchfield. The man on the ball is Rajay Zimenez, brother of Tyreek Zimenez. Of course, would have been a national representative and would have won two titles last season with Jamaica College. Has since gone to Belgium with the Circle Bruges, a Bruja. There's Ashton Blankson, head coach of Campion College, flanked by his technical director, Eric Radamakas. They have done wonders for the program. They'll be looking to make an even greater step and advance further in the second round in this season.
So just at the halfway line, Kevin Collins, they have a free kick. Captain there, Elijah White, spreading it to Jelani Harvey. His pass wayward. Daly there with a good touch. Gets the return ball or the attempted return ball from Reese. Possession now with Reese for Kingston College. Doing well there for his champion in breaking that up. Here's Daly. McLean. Reese, he too, a returning member from the team last season. Had some injury concerns. Spent a large proportion of his time at right back last season, but has ventured up the field in this. Not too much to show for it this season so far. Under his coach, of course, Vassar Reynolds. Vassar Reynolds, of course, would have won the De Costa Cup with Reese as far back as 2017. Didn't have so much success at Manchester High. Won the Super Cup with Woolmer, so knows how to win at the schoolboy level for sure. Has been a part of the national under 20 setup on occasions as well. So certainly a man with a lot of experience. Here's Dejon Green. He has experience too for Kingston College. Likes to hold on to the ball. Reese, not a bad passer. Has Daly. Finds him. Here's Patterson. Stabs it forward to Green. Daly gets the ball. Goes into traffic and loses possession, but Kingston College happy to recycle where the Zimin is now. Releasing Smith. The six former losing possession there. game but Kingston College custodian Malik Williams needing some assistance show the stands filling up nicely individuals making their way into the stands here at the JC Ashadine Stadium Malik Williams being attended to by the medical team. Purple Nation on hand. And if there's Purple Nation, they might just well be the Red Force. Well, Red is strong, so I don't expect anything less. Of course, Kingston College always an extremely well-supported team. I'm wondering how, how bad the issue is here for Malik Williams because his backup goalkeeper, Dominic Robinson, is getting ready on the sidelines. Not quite sure what could have caused any discomfort he would have had. Let's see if he will be able to continue. Seems as if he will be. Backup goalkeeper Dominic Robinson putting on back his bib now. What a team that you are quite used to. The J does have quite a lot of alteration with in the goalkeeping department, not necessarily utilized here at the schoolboy level in Jamaica. Yeah, you know, different goalkeepers for different situations, but I don't think many teams at the schoolboy level utilize their goalkeepers enough to warrant those changes on a game-to-game -game or situation-to-situation -situation basis. So I doubt we will see that in Jamaica for quite some time. 
Here's Green, transferred from Wilmers to Kingston College. Certainly has had great impact for them. Daly there, showing great strength. Ball to McLean. Here's Reese, has a cross, you know. Green. Losing he possession. He went down a bit too easily there. Yeah. See how being pressed by Falconer. Very comfortable in the end. Kingston College maintained possession. Here's a ball to Daly. The offside flag is up. Kingston College, of course, I think shaping up in a really interesting way. Next time they have settled possession, I'll highlight the things I'm seeing, but it's Campion College building out from the back now. Here's Les, loses possession to Green. Smith now has pace. Les trying to track back, he sends it across. Alex James on hand to avert any danger. So the drums on hand feature a staple of all Kingston College matches. And the drum corps always bringing that energy. Can't Can't they're losing from the back there, but not with the best, best accuracy. Here's Les trying to turn. Matthew Rule spreads it wide. Come on, Patterson with the ball now. Dejon Green doing well, going in a bit of traffic unnecessarily. Here's Rule on the ball now, trying to turn. Easily dispossessed in the end. Another player down for Kingston College. That is Dejon Green. He yeah, did quite a lot there. He was trying to maneuver through the midfield as he so often does. You mentioned that he's a player that likes to hold on to the ball a lot. Certainly seemingly a dribble first central midfielder. So, Kingston College on the field, Kingston College in the commentary area, perhaps <laughs> Leger wants to say hi, I'll keep my head this angle. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm used to the views, you know, so, <laughs> hello there, hey. oh yeah, Campion Noel boys, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can serve up in this game, where I'm, we've been on the back foot so far. Kingston College, of course I would have gone there to my delight and had some great days, yeah, and let's hope that they'll have some great days for my favor as well as they try to progress into the quarterfinal round. Well, they, a lot will depend on that man, Dejon Green, but can't lose possession. Here's Smith. from his number seven shirt to the number two shirt. That's what he wore last year. 
had impact coming off the bench last year. Now in a starter's role, some say that they would love to see a bit more fire in his eyes. Let's see if he can deliver that. Here's Daly. Didn't have much playing time last year, but 10 goals this season shows the impact he has made this season. Here's Zimenez. 16-year-old to the 18-year-old Smith. The Jean Green. Yeah, I was mentioning the structure of Kingston College earlier. You can see that they are one of the teams using inverted fullbacks. Their nominal right back, Kamal Patterson. Saw him out of shot there in the yellow boots. The center circle now. He's tucking into form a central midfield pivot with Dijon Green. And Zimini is the nominal left back, is staying back, forming a back three. So Vassarena is a coach that has been around, but he certainly is moving with the times. This Kingston College team looking to move up the pitch. It's a throw, throw. Patterson takes it. Reese, who would have been in that position last year, sends it across. They still have possession through his lap. Tried the shot, but that was blocked. Here's Reese doing a few step overs. Gets by one. His shot is wayward and high. Yeah, I haven't seen, we haven't been seeing too many goals from the Kingston College wingers this season. On the left, Damien Smith, two goals. On the right, Kimani Reese, one goal. But I guess you can say that their primary role is to hold with and to create as well. So not too surprising in the end that their goals come from central areas. Here's Smith. Sends it across. A dangerous hero. What an effort that from Daly. He's hungry for goals, and with that kind of turn, you can see why he has 10 this season. Yeah, he certainly loves a special effort. Saw him with the fan goal of the week, and he was trying to replicate it here. That would have been an excellent turn and swivel, pseudo bicycle kick. But the execution was just a bit off. And Campaign College lived to fight another day. Kingston College trying to build up from the back. Definitely trying to have possession, but less releases that one. And the offside flag is up. Just by the Kingston College bench, Vassar Reynolds. You can hear him barking some instructions. Quite an anim animated character on the bench. I've witnessed him in a few games, and I tell you. So I'll... Langston for Campion College is happy to have a seat. You won't find that for Vassar Reynolds, even if they are comfortably in the lead. Always coaching, always giving instructions from the sideline. And some of those instructions have been directed to this man, Smith. Sends it in for Daly. Daly does well to get possession, trying to get the shot off, but he's been hounded. Champion get to clear through less. Good challenge that from Green. Daly was asking for it, but he goes wide to Reese. Reese finds the inverted fullback, Patterson. His ball cut out, but almost that's a flick on by Smith. And a crucial 
challenge from Jaden Morgan there, getting the ball away for a corner kick. And Smith was really advancing at the instructions of Vassar Reynolds. Yeah, I think Kempen are sitting a bit too deep, so there's no out ball for them when they get possession or when they do win possession. I think it's really allowing Kingston College to get on top of them. Kimani Reese there. Well, in the first match we did see quite a few yards being taken advantage of by Stats, but no such luck here. Taken short, Smith bodied off, but he regains position. His cross cut out. Still in a dangerous area. Here's Reese. the Reese who does well first time. Brian lifts it in the area. The header from Hislop was wayward. Campion still have a bit of work to do. Reese there trying to do some, it was Daly actually trying to do some skillful work, but they still have possession. Patterson with the shot and it caused some problems for goalkeeper James. Still possession with Kingston College. Smith whips it across. McLean will keep it in possession. He loses it. And the high line of Kingston College, as well as the deep line of Campion College, keeping the ball in that half, but they get to break because of a foul. As Kingston College try to get that ball just now. So it's a free kick for Campion College in their own half. James under pressure from Daly. They're under some amount of pressure from themselves. Here's Zimenez. Family. The name Zimenez certainly has a, a special ring to it in schoolboy football folklore. Of course, Excelsior would have had Malik Williams giving away possession. Campion College! They go ahead! Tyler Falconer! Malik Williams with a holder! Gifted! Falconer with the ball, and he made no mistake. They salute! Champion College in the 21st minute. And Lejay, Le when you get a gift, what else should you do? You have to unwrap it. And that's exactly what Falconer did. Campion have been soaking up pressure, soaking up pressure. Very few times have Kingston College have to play out from the back. And maybe that's going to be a pressure point for them. Which was oh. a really good finish in the end. I think that finish is going to give Campion College a lot of confidence for the rest of this game. And they continue their David versus Goliath arc. And at this point, it's David up one, Goliath down nil. And Vassar Reynolds with his head down as well. Well, if they are to progress Kingston College, they'll have to be able to navigate adversity. Let's see how they can respond to that. He certainly is navigating. It's a water break. Malik Williams. He'll have a lot to consider. And hopefully his attacking lineup can spear his blushes. So it's a water break as uh, the sun is definitely out in all its glory and the players definitely need to refresh themselves. Vassar Reynolds appealing to Dijon Green, giving him some instructions in the middle of the park. 
Eric Grademakers, the technical director for Champion College, also there giving some instructions to his team. Here's a look at the sequence of events. Malik Williams doing the unfathomable, passing the ball directly to Falconer. And Falconer made no mistake. Download the Sportsmax app today. Get it on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. And you'll see so much of the action in Issa Schoolboy Football and in the SSFL on the app. Replays, highlights, updates, and beyond the Schoolboy Football. We have a Champions League, Jamaica Premier League. All the action, it's on the Sportsmax app. Get it today. Folks, don't adjust your television sets. The score is correct. Not too long ago, Campaign College taking the lead in this first leg of the second round, their second round encounter. That's going to be a foul. Rash challenge that. Against Kingston College number 12, Kamal Patterson. Referee Romario Francis not flashing the card. I was saying that the Campion College player needs some attention. I was saying that the folks at home aren't to adjust their television sets. This isn't going to be something that you would have seen often. I would have seen it last season in the under-16 competition, of course, when Campion College lifted that trophy, but we have gotten back into our mode of slaying giants and we're up one nil now we meaning campion college and so you're Jay slaying Williams. giants already you're no, slaying I'm, giants already well campion well you according to everyone else kingston college is a giant of jamaican high school sports i'm not quite sure about that but in terms of this match and this event but from an overall perspective i'm not sure why you're not sure about that perhaps the manning cup titles don't uh, I speak to that, but overall, in terms of all sports, yeah, I do think Kingston College is the giant of all sports. I, I wonder why you would say that, Dean. It's almost as if you have some sort of affiliation, we being, a form, being a former head boy of the institution yourself. We haven't hit it. And <laughs> <laughs> I know you're very proud to go there, so I know you would never hide it. We have a lot of champion fans out as well. Of course, we're outnumbered. But the support is growing because winning breeds success and Campaign College have turned their program around the last couple of years. Improvement year on year, of course, as I mentioned. Here's the ball. Malik Williams will have a lot to do. He missed that one. And Campion, they are still rolling over Kingston College. What a day for Malik Williams. What a day for Campion. A player is down, but they won't mind too much. Against all the odds, against all the jeers of Goliath, David with the sling again. Well, you mentioned gifts. You really mentioned gifts, and that was yet another one from the Kingston College goalkeeper, Malik Williams. Kingston College coming into this game. If you talk about their games that officially count, have only conceded two goals this season. And it was actually Jazz Les stealing in at the back post who headed that one home. That's why he's down receiving treatment, getting his third goal of the season, Jazz. And Campion College is number 10. I said that he stole in to get that head on the, on the ball. Campion College, to many, would be stealing a result right now. The scoreline, Campion College 2, Kingston College 0. So goalkeeper errors. A plenty here. Malik Williams has been suspect all afternoon. And you wonder what will happen if the confidence of the coaching staff will remain. The drums are down now. Can the Fortress spirit live on amidst the trauma within 25 minutes? Coach, Coach Ashton Blankson has mentioned previously that he's not quite sure why his team doesn't perform in TV games. 
stretching back to last season when they were knocked out of the second round against Charlie Smith. A 2 0 loss on that occasion, and then earlier this season they beat Arden in a not so convincing performance. It's certain that his team has certainly come to the party today. Kingston College sending a few players to get warm. Not seeing the goalkeeper out there. And if anyone, I would think, needs to perhaps have a revisit, it certainly would be him. But here they come now. Smith on the ball. Trying to play it forward. Safe pair of hands is Alex James. No such ignominy for him. The brave may fall, but never yield. Let's see if they can live out that motto today. Here they come forward. McLean losing possession there. Brian playing it back to Sau. And you wonder if the defensive lineup of Kingston College will trust Malik Williams, especially in the circumstances. Here's Smith. He was trying to thread that one through, but that was broken up. Slipping is Brian, but possession goes away of Campion. I think an important point to note in terms of how steep of a task this might be now for Kingston College is the fact that Campion College have had one of the best defences in the Manning Cup this season. Only Kingston College's North Street rivals, St. George's, have really proven to crack the code in terms of breaching it. Campion College conceding six goals in the group stages across their ten games. Five of those goals coming to St. George's in those two games that they played against them. So it is a tough, tough task to breach this campaign college defense. Seven clean sheets for Alex James in the goal. So Kingston College they have a lot of work to do. Let's see if they can get to it. Here's Sal stepping forward from the heart of the fence. Spreading that one wide now to Smith. And the goalkeeper for Campion, Alex James, rising and doing well. And he'll need some attention now, Alex James. Got up high to claim that one. Daily there. Feeling some effects, but of course, the majority with the Campion custodian. I'm sure Kimani has a sideline report. He must be hearing something from the sidelines, from the fans, something. The, the drums are down, so information able to be passed on much easier but that's perhaps my prognostic my prognosis he'll give us some information soon let's see if Kingston College they have the mentality the the vigor to fight back from this deficit it would be a great fillet to their confidence if they could, but let's not forget Campion College here. How must they feel? Well, you can speak on their behalf, Lejay. Yeah, as I mentioned, the program has changed a lot recently. So there is a greater fighting spirit in terms of what we try to accomplish in sports as of late, especially in football. We really gritted out so many results en route to winning the under 16 competition last season defeating jamaica college on penalties defeating st george's in the final a lot of close narrow games that a lot of these players would have played in so that experience i think has been a real positive for them in these scenarios against the bigger teams so to speak 
And I think not really seeing much effects of wilting under any sort of pressure. Not at all. Coming forward again is Campion. Faulkner, the goal scorer, they are trying to connect with Jazz Les. Matthew Rules, his pass cut out. Daly now has the ball for Kingston College. Does well. Daly still fighting on the pressure. Being tackled by two players. Does well to get by. And the cross was a good one, teasing one, but played out by Campion College for a corner kick. That in the 33rd minute of the encounter. Mind you, the animation of Vassar Reynolds hasn't stopped one bit. They are preparing to make a change. Corner kick taken short. Hisler back to McLean. McLean dirty to goal. That was blocked. The header on, and it was flicked wide by Dijon Green. From point blank range, he really should have done better there. Yeah, set piece almost proving the undoing of Campion on that occasion. But they survive. Failing to clear it on multiple occasions, and it was right on the line. And it was actually their captain, Siao. Got up high, but couldn't direct it goalwards. As I mentioned, Campion really survived that effort. And here comes the substitution. It is a change at right back. I'm going to see Deshaun Byfield come in for Kimani. No, I apologize for Kamal Patterson. Really good effort there by Hislop. Won the second ball, broke free. Took on the left-footed shot, but it just blazed wide in the end. KC inching closer and closer to getting their first goal in this game. Yeah, but I think that change will force a tactical one for Kingston College. Deshaun Byfield more of an attacker. So we're going to see Kimani Reese revert to the position that we saw him play most of last season. Which is right back. Let's see if he will take up the same zones that we were seeing, seeing from Kamal Patterson. Tempted ball through there from Campion, but the goal scorer Falconer was offside. That one was handled by Malik Williams. He puts it forward. Not utilizing the play out from the back philosophy that we would have seen so often in Kingston College build a play. Perhaps his confidence being a bit shattered. Good skill that. Here's his luck turning. Spreads it wide to Smith. His cross. Deflected but still in possession. Kingston College. Tempting delivery that. Daly on the ball. Trying to turn. Has an eye for goal, does Daly. Spreads it wide by field. National on the 15th player. Losing possession as Campion tried to break through less, but South steps forward now. Here's Green. Spreading it wide to Smith. Smith on the ball, getting it across. Turning his Kingston College, but no shot just yet. And that passage of play ends up in a throw-in for Campion College after Zibinis' pass to Smith was a bit too tall for him. Change about to be made in the goalkeeping department for Kingston College as well. Dominic Robinson. 
coming on for Malik Williams. He did seem a bit jaded early in the encounter. And what happened afterward was horrific. Certainly, those things can shatter the confidence of even the most mentally tough players. Coach Vassar right now certainly not shy of ringing the changes. Ball over the top by Green. It comes to his lap. His shot was blocked. Green again. He goes into traffic. Green tries to sh shoot, but that was blocked as well. And it's a corner kick for Kingston College. They are definitely up in the tempo. Passage of play has been in their favor for the last 10 minutes. slew of players for Campion College just surrounding any Kingston College play on the ball. Defend at all costs. Can they break it? Kingston College with the corner kick. It's another corner kick for them. That one was played out. McLean once more with the corner kick. This one further, and it's headed back in the area. Unable to get a final touch to it. Here's Smith. Turns well, beats one. Runs into traffic. Does Smith. Releases the ball to Green. Green. Too much of the ball to his feet. Losing possession. Yeah, obviously a very talented dribbler. Green, but I think too often he holds on to it a bit too long before making a decision of his next action, whether it to be a pass or a shot. I think once he gets a bit more decisive in those actions, we see a much improved player. Kempe looking to build out from the back again. Casey looking to apply a press, making Campion uncomfortable. Kempe win it back in the end. Alex James showing confidence, playing out from the back. And if this result remains, I tell you what, it would certainly send shock waves across the entire footballing landscape in Jamaica. forward. Here's Hisla. They're able to short number. Here's Daly. His shot was blocked. They charge down there. Back three of Campion holding very firm. It's definitely more of a back five now. important for Campion to stay as firm as possible before the first half is complete. Always rough to concede going into the break. Can really swing the momentum of a game. Here's Smith. Ball beautifully taken by Daly. Can he release something special? Has to turn, gets a shot off. But you can see that his left foot doesn't have the fury of the right. Yeah, I can give you an update on Kamal Patterson. That's the right back of Kingston College. He has a swollen right ankle and that was the reason for the sub. 
as well as goalie Malik Williams. He has no injuries, but it seems like a tactical change by the coach. That's all for me. Thank you so much, Kimani. As we saw, Kingston College trying to advance. Daly sending that one. Bit too much on it, or is it? It's going to go! But it's offside. Byfield there was advancing. And just when they thought they had a break, it's heartbreak. Yeah, Kingston College again inching closer and closer to getting that first goal. The linesman's flag was what was in between them and halving the deficit. Campaign College, hold on. Here's Kingston College. At one, sending Byfield to chase. He gets it across, but only to Alex James in goal for Campaign College. Finding Matthew Rule. Less. <laughs> Referee seeing all sorts of problems, as is the assistant. Zimini is getting a yellow card for his troubles. As Les runs that one off, it's going to be another booming free kick. Mohammed to swing this one in. Here's another look at that play. Here's the free kick. Here's Green. Here's Falconer trying to do the flick over Reese, but they're in a tussle there. Possession going the way of Kingston College. Four minutes of time added on. Here's Smith. Jermaine Smith to Ziminis. I was mentioning that Ziminis is a great name in school board football. Ricardo Ziminis, of course, winning with Excelsior all the way back 2004. I hear they are cousins. The head, the head are there, just off target. Of course, Daly again in the thick of things. And their play on the pitch has not diminished has Kingston College of course they would have been jaded by two goalkeeper errors but the outfield players uh, they have maintained their stance and uh, their quality hasn't really diminished and it doesn't seem as if their spirit is broken but that's all conjecture only the results will tell just got a message from Danzi De Cifas, who was a track and field captain in 2007 and 2008. And he reminded me of the motto. Still thinking that Kingston College is in it. Good afternoon to you, Danzi, Danzi De Cifas. Yeah, I really admire the Kingston College persistence. You're a wise man. But here we go. Ziminis. Smith. Kislop to Green. His passing hasn't been the most precise all afternoon, Green. 
Xiao looking for the easy pass. Finds it through Reese and Anil Bryan now, the pitch field transfer. Releasing Byfield, the National Under 15 player. Bryan whips it across. Oh, that was an attempted bicycle from Demario Daly. He has an eye for the spectacular. And had that gone on, I don't know what I'd say on commentary. I'm telling you, LeJ. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. He definitely does have an eye for the spectacular. A couple times already this game, he's tried something acrobatic. It's clear that he's a very confident young man. He's going to need to transmit that confidence to the rest of his teammates, especially going into the second half. And the goalkeeping change, I believe, was really to ensure that how Kingston College desire to play out from the back was maintained. Malik Williams, of course, after having conceded the first goal, would have been under duress to continue. Here's Les at the second. What a strike! Definitely does have a firm strike on him, Les, but couldn't direct that one goal was to really test the new goalkeeper for K Kingston College, Dominic Robinson. You have to mark that down as a chance for Campion College. Certainly. Daly still pushing. Campion give up the corner kick. Could be the final kick of the first half. Here's a, another look at this that was adjudged to have been offside. Doesn't seem to be offside in my book. Certainly. That seemed clear from my angle, but that won't change anything. Here's the corner kick delivered deep in the box. The header is on. Oh, my day! And it's over the top. He's definitely in the thick of things, Demario Daly. But Campion College, they are in the thick of things. A two goal advantage at the half. Two howlers. Goalkeeper errors of the highest proportion. Gifted Campion College the first goal and an error in the second but less showing his quality and his zeal even though it will have cost him some measure of discomfort he headed on for the second one yes the score line reads campion college two kingston college nil it's a man in cup round of 16 action on Sports Max 2. Rayo Vallecano versus Real Sociedad live Sunday, 10.15 a.m., 11.15 in the rest of the Caribbean. Also on Sports Max 2. Athletic Bilbao versus Valencia, Sunday, 12.30 p.m., 1.30 in the Eastern Caribbean. And uh, La Liga on Sports Max 2. Monday, 3 p.m., 4 in the rest of the Caribbean. Granada versus Villarreal. La Liga is on your home of champions. Sports Max 2 on Monday, 3 p.m. and 4 in the rest of the Caribbean. Confirmation of the first half scores. Campion 2, Kingston College nil. Romario Francis still in the middle. Guide in the proceedings. Can this be a great comeback for Kingston College or will Campion College throw their hat in the ring let's see what happens in this second half Dean but I'm looking forward to it I'm sure you are as well I certainly am Leger and I tell you what a 
I just received the call that Sportsmax really did a great job in having a champion night and a college man, as they would say, in commentary. A chess move, a master move. Yeah, Sportsmax tends to make good decisions. Even selecting this game is a master stroke on their part, especially if Campion were to pull off the upset. Because it would have been one of those results coming through that no one would believe. So I'm glad it's being televised. <laughs> Malik Williams isn't glad. Here's Kimani Rees. Trying to find the outlet on the left, Demain Smith, but he loses possession. Jaden Morgan there, played it out for a throw in. Zimit is stepping forward. He's on his seat. That's rather alarming. You want to take a wager of how long he's going to be on his seat? One of his assistants, Jermaine Miller. Giving the orders now. Here's Les for Campion. Unable to progress. McLean has been sliding all afternoon. Ball through to Faulkner. Faulkner is through. Good save that from the keeper, Robinson. Let's get in the loose ball. Breeze trying to hold him off, but he does manage to get it across, but only as far as the Kingston College player looked to have been O'Neill Bryan. And that was a really big chance for Campion College. Falconer holding off the Kingston College defense. And the substituted goalkeeper showing his worth early in the second half. That being Dominic Robinson, because that was a huge chance for Campion College to extend this lead to a, what would be a really, really tall order for Kingston College. Throw and take in. Headed up, but only just beyond their box. Goalkeeper has to come out. Kislop did well. Ziminitz. That ball to Smith was pinpoint accurate. Smith using his skill, trying to be deceptive. Gets by one, whips it across now. Daly trying to latch onto that, but it goes to Ziminis. Was a bit slight on the ball. Green now. Still green. Nikolai Banton was there for company. Here's Smith now. Lifts it across. Kings and Kaj definitely having a lot of players back in their box or in their box when attacking. Minor Reese is inverting. Saw that substitution in the first Here, half. But here's Byfield trying to weave through the champion back line, but spreads it wide. Smith cues it for Green. Green with the shot. That's charged down. Spread to Byfield. Unable to keep it in play. But yeah, right from a jump, we're seeing a lot of Kingston College bodies in their attacking box. Looking to try and match up the numbers of Campion when they're attacking. Campion, of course, defending in a back five. So aggressive move from Vasa Reynolds, but it is going to leave their defenders really isolated. Kingston Kyle is trying to press, but Campion well versed in terms of playing out from the back. Good moves. There. Getting the passes together. Losing possession there was Smith. Much to his dismay. Some other results coming in from across the island in the De Costa Cup and also that's in the round of 16 of the De Costa Cup and in the Manning Cup as well. At half time, Glenn Muir and Garvin Masia, they were locked one apiece. 
Kylie Selassie, that's in the Tacosta Cup. Stets led Cornwall 1 0 at half time. Cornwall down to 10 men as well. At half time in the Dacosta Cup, in another group, whether well, the same group with Cornwall and Stets, Clarendon College leading Mile Gully 1 0 at the half. Of course, that group being the group of death, Stets, Cornwall, and Clarendon College, all many time winners in that same group. Here's Campion, though, in Kingston, trying to advance, and Faulkner there playing it off south for a corner kick. William Nib and Christiana High tied it two all at the moment. Manchester High leads Ataki, two goals to one. BB Cope beat Happy Crow 3 2. Yeah, so St. Catherine leading Woolmers. This is in the Manning Cup now, 2 0. Here's the corner kick. Here's a shot from distance. That's charged down as well. Daly booting it way up. Still trying to get possession here. Zimin is. Loses possession. The shot. That's charged down. And now Kingston College can break. Byfield has the chase. And doing well there. Shandon McFarlane to play it out for a throw in Kimani Reese getting ready to take that more results for you St. Jago leading St. St. Jago trailing by two goal margin St. George is there leading that in that encounter and in second half action as well Jamaica College leading Eltham three goals to nil so lots of football all across the island in both the Manning and the Costa Cup. Yeah, the business end of the competition. But yeah, what you're seeing is in fact correct. Campion leading Kingston College two goals to nil. This in the second half. Hislop trying to get on the end of that one. was always going to be a tall order. Not as animated as we normally see them, the Kingston College supporters. They're looking for something to cheer about. Campion doing well to play out of the press. And that ball to McFarlane, shielded well by Brian. Doing well is Brian. McFarlane not giving him much room to navigate. Results in the DaCosta Cup. Dintil and McGraw lock, locked. Nil all at the half. Here's the corner kick. Headed out. It's a Kingston College goal kick now. And that's a big matchup, you know, Dintil and McGraw. They, of course, would have been in the same first round group. Both teams from rural St. Catherine. Dintil, of course, would have had the better of McGraw on both of their encounters. Campion still defending stoutly, not taking any risks when approached. But they have looked much more lively in the second half in an attacking sense a couple of corners one a couple of good counter attacks and probably the best chance of the second half also so 
a lot going on here in this game. Kingston College looking to commit so many bodies forward. I think that's going to allow Campion to have a real good chance of getting him behind. It's just the lack of pace and physicality probably which would hold them back. But they do have a couple fresh legs and I, I do mean that quite literally. A couple fresh legs on the bench, only four substitutes on the bench today. Let's see if they can impact the game. Here they come forward. Brian doing well to head it out for Kingston College. Here's Reese. That ball through to Byfield, cut out well by Campion defender, looked to have been Harvey. That's Leaford Grant, far left of the pitcher, the track and field head coach. Here, Kingston College come forward now. Daly, the offside flag was up. And his shot, too, was up. Frustration there mounting, and he'll be shown a yellow card. Ten gold man has had a meaningful contribution this afternoon. Unable to really get on the score sheet so far. Here's Les for Campion. Rule. That ball to was Fal Falconer looking to get him behind I mentioned not having the pace to really trouble Kingston College so a couple times now he's been called offside trying to get a yard an extra yard but good vision from young Nikolai Banton to find him this game is still on a knife edge Green trying to trying to thread it through McLean to Byfield. He does well to get by one. Daly on the end of this one. Daly! He was always there! And he's delivered for Kingston College! The Phoenix man rises from the ashes! And Kingston College, they're looking for a revival, a revival in their soul. He was always coming. I mentioned that they were getting players forward and he was one of the substitutes combining with their top goal scorer. It was a missed tackle. He really ghosted in, in the end. And Demario Daly has put Campion back into a bit of a messy situation. And Kingston College have half the deficit What sort of matchup will we see now? Let's see how well Campion can hold off Kingston College as they try to barge forward. Here they come again. The man with the assist on that occasion, Byfield, threading through. McLean did well to get to the byline, McLean. Here's Reese. McLean knew he was offside, having a bit of cramps. Falling to the ground now. So, update. In the scores in the Da Costa Cup, Cornwall has drawn back a goal, even with 10 men. So it's one all between themselves and Stets. Still one all between Garvin Massey and Glenmuir. Froome and Port Antonio, one all. The Da Costa Cup is on knife's edge. Down now the Sportsmax app today. Get it on the Google Play and the App Lab Store and watch all 
the action in the schoolboy football here in the island of Jamaica and the SSFL in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, follow the action, follow the highlights. Sportsmax Plus is free. Byfield doing well. Alex James recognizing the danger. As he has done so well so far in this game, Alex James. Kingston College still preparing some substitutes. Seems as if Campion might be doing the same not too, not too long. It will be Matthew Lloyd, someone who has started in several games this season up front. Confirmation of the full-time result between St. George's College and St. Jago. 2-0 in favor of St. George's College. Throw in for Campion there. Headed out for another throw in. Just under half an hour left in regulation time. And the change we will see for Campion College is Matthew Lloyd coming in for Nikolai Banton. Usually seems substituted at this point in games. Really young player, 14, 15 years of age. Barbados national under 15 representative, Nikolai Banton. So it is quite difficult for him to complete these games at such a high intensity at his current physical prowess. But he's definitely one to look out for as the years go by. Gerard Morrisili certainly will be looking out for him. And I just have the, the thinking that he might want Campion to win on his account. <laughs> Here they come forward. And Matthew Rule unable to get the finishing touch. Kingston College on the other end, pushing forward by field, doing well to get by one. Had the assist earlier, trying to find Daly. Daly has the ball, fires, that's charged down. Comes to Green. Green has the opportunity to shoot, doesn't go that route. Here they come forward, and Campion clearing under pressure. It's a throw in for Kingston College. And I tell you what, even the ball boys are involved in gamesmanship. This is a home fixture for Campion. Deshaun Byfield stamps it to Daly. Sends it further wide to Smith. Smith swings it across. He slap! Oh, off the upright! That would have been spectacular! Kingston College pressing forward. Zimin is doing well to turn there. Oh, he really did well. Deshaun Green getting in on the action. Robert Sow as well. Campion play down. Firm challenge coming from Dijon Green. I'm sure the referee will have a, something to say about that one. Yeah, Campion not shy of getting involved in the physical battle, but here's this another is a look. chance for Kingston College again. It, it rised up well for him and Alex Hislop just off the upright. Oh, how it would have been spectacular. Perhaps we need the best near misses in the competition because quite often you see some opportunities that millimeters, centimeters. The difference between a goal and a miss. The drums are returning. They were absent. And the action continues in the De Costa Cup. Stets, they have scored once more. 2-1, they lead Cornwall College. Updates continuing to come in. Here's, looks to be his love. 
getting it across. Oh, what a miss from Daly! What a miss from Daly! Vessa Reynolds, the entire staff in disbelief. You don't get it much better than that, do you, Lige? Yeah, that was a really good chance for Daly. Ball came across on a platter, really. Referee having a talk to campaign goalkeeper Alex James about time wasting. And with 25 minutes left, Kingston College really applying the pressure now. Here's Daly. Getting it across. By field! Kingston College applying the pressure but not applying the finishing touch. Daly really did well to get it across. Poor defending, really let that one through. Campion not playing it out from the back anymore. Here's McLean. Byfield connects with him well. Tries to bring Ziminis in on the action. He gets it. Ziminis now stepping forward. Hislop gets it first time. Ziminis' ball to Smith has all afternoon been a bit suspect. And that has to be frustrating for the Kingston College coaching staff. They are pinning in this campaign college team. I think they would have needed an accurate pass there to continue sustaining the pressure. Campaign College goalkeeper Alex James needing some treatment now. Not sure if there's a water break now. Jermyn Miller there giving instructions to the Kingston College players, the assistant coach. Here's the first goal. Faulkner there getting the Poor pass from Malik Williams, who was eventually substituted. 1-0 for Campion. Had the salute as well. Then this kick over Malik Williams onto the head of Jazz Les. And he ran into trouble. Ran into glory first, though, but yeah, that was a hard hit. Kingston College would draw one back. Byfield connecting with Daly, had time to control and to shoot. 2-1, 11 goals for him. Two goals for Campion. Goalkeeper is back up now. Alex James. In the, in the 80th minute, Cornwall College equalized again. Cornwall College and Stets, what a battle they have. And of course, I would have mentioned earlier that they are down to 10 men, so Cornwall College showing true grit. Daly, offside. Christiana leading William Nib three goals to two. That in the 79th minute of play. Champion looking to buy a foul on that occasion. And the referee was not interested. Matthew Lloyd looking to apply a press. Has worked to some degree. Kingston College able to push forward, but that's broken up. Matthew Rule doing well to get by three, but loses out on that occasion. Kimani Reese 
release Dejon Green. Smith was offside. Quite animated is Demario Daly, as well as a few players. Not a few players, a few of the fans by the commentary area despising every offside call. But on those two occasions, the assistant referee has gotten it right. Under 20 minutes left in this one. Gamesmanship on show. Here's Daly. Getting it to Smith. Smith has time in the box. He fires. Forces a save from Alex James. He has been reliable this season, Alex James. Proving reliable on that occasion as well. Kingston College continuing to turn on the pressure. I really wonder the tension over by the stands. Here's another delivery at the back post. The header from McLean straight to Alex James. He'll spend all the time he needs to get up. As is allowable by the referee. Has been warned, warned already for time wasting. Goalkeeper Robinson will have to be firm there. Can they get the equalizer? Kingston College trying to come forward. Here's Kimani Reese. Chaim McLean losing possession. Chas Les trying to spread it, but that's cut out by Ziminis. Kislav combining with Smith. Smith coming forward. Still Smith getting it across. Broken up by Campion, and they played out for a throw in. on a knife's edge of course away goals rule a factor in deciding the overall winners if the tie is a tide on aggregate here's by field falls to Smith Smith yeah he always been forced to his left foot Alex James there able to avert the danger. Clarendon College now leads Mile Gully two goals to nil. It's certainly been a day filled with festivities, surprises, drama, all of the above, yeah in schoolboy football. Byfield. McLean. Hasn't appeared sure-footed. McLean. Beautiful ball that from Reese, but headed out. Neil Bryan under pressure. Not enough pressure to really trouble Kingston College overall by field. Play being stopped because champion play as you see. Down. Looks as if it's their number five Marquis Steele. Champion College preparing another substitution here. Maybe they'll be using their full cohort today. 
quarter of an hour left in this encounter. What a day of drama in the group involving Stets Cornwall and Mile Gully and Clarendon College. Stets going ahead 3 2. So that goal being scored in the 86th minute in the encounter between Stets and the Cornwall College. Another substitution being made by Kingston College. Chai McLean coming off. KJ Fletcher entering the field of play. Cameron Mayhew entering the fray for Campaign College. First duty is to defend this free kick. Here's Daly. Plays it to Smith. Smith with a shot. Over the top. I can't believe he's still on his seat. I'm just going to assume that maybe he was warned a bit, so that's why he sent his assistant to do the berating. Here's Fletcher. Kislop. Green. Connecting with Byfield. Byfield doing well. First time. Challenge coming in from Matthew Lloyd, the substitute. Another champion player down. Kingston College still pushing the initiative. Simenes putting himself under a bit of pressure. Smith having to drop back, doing well. Kislop. Here's Daly now. It's a free kick for Kingston College. Reese behind it as well as Smith. territory six Kingston College players in the box and all of champions in theirs ball sent in the area and Alex James doing well to tear it over the top and he wondered if it would have been deja vu but no such luck for Kingston College Smith with the corner kick in the 80th minute. Takes it short, comes back to him. Whips it inside the area. Headers go up, go up. And the two players unable to get a foot off. Still a bungle there in the area. Zimmon is doing well to play it up. Looks to be Pie Field. Dejon Green. In defensive duties there. Spreads it beautifully for Smith. Smith connecting with Fletcher. Fletcher goes to the byline. Out of touch. Yet another campaign college player down. 
I know the funny thing about this, I'm not quite sure it even is a trying to be a method of time wasting. I just think that physically this game is taking such a huge toll on them. These are a lot of young players. And just generally they aren't up to the physical level like the Kingston College players are. So a lot of them are struggling, as you can see, but they're fighting. The same spirit that I mentioned. It's before. a Sports Max app moment brought to you by the Sports Max app. The second goal for Campion, converted by Jazz Less. After the looping ball from the free kick was improperly handled, or manhandled, you'd say, by Malik Williams. Jazz Less on hand, in the midst of danger, able to convert. The Sports Max app moment brought to you by the Sports Max app. Download the Sports Max app today and follow the action in schoolboy football and SSFL in Jamaica and Trinidad respectively and of course Sportsmax App Plus is free here's Byfield you figure that the card will come out for Matthew Lloyd free kick in another deadly area Kimani Reese, the sole candidate, speaking to the ball. Will he speak to the net? Through the ball. Reese behind this one. Not much of a wall. Substitution being made by Campion as well. Had Harrison making his way on the pitch. Coming on for Shandon McFarley. Seven Kingston College players in the box. Here's the delivery. Heads go up. Falls to Brian! From Titchfield to Kingston College! back of the net it's two all between Campion and Kingston College and there's a special ring to it a man from the eastern end coming to Kingston College with a spunk to him Anil Bryan coming up big for Fortis for Toy North Street Lejay Williams I understand if you don't have a lot to say I can't sympathize Lejay only a Kingston College man would try and spin the narrative like that, but it is an excellent finish. Really excellent finish. What a goal it was. It was coming also. You cannot give free kicks away in those dangerous areas. And Campion College paid the price for that. We have some other news that would be of significance to you, Leger. Leighton Big Jet Murray had an injury during that encounter. St. George's College versus St. Jago has been rushed to the hospital. Here's Kingston College again, Daly. Oh, he was really close on that occasion, unable to get the finishing touch to it. There's still life in this contest. Kingston College definitely trying to get a win. And well, I don't I'm not always on camera. <laughs> Michael Edwards, why did you do that? <laughs> Alex James is down in body and perhaps in heart. He's wrestling. A little bit technical, of course, coming out winners in that encounter between themselves and Cornwall College. Three goals to two. Full time between Glenmuir and Garva Maceo. One all. Yeah, there'll be a lot of tension in that 
group as well. Of course, praise going to Neville Bertis Bell. He recognized that Leighton Murray was not moving after the end of the game and alerted the medical team and started to help the player. Of course, such a great heart is a Neville Bell. You can't help but respect the person, not just the coach, but the person as well. So much kudos to him, Per certainly with Leighton Murray. What a strike he had. Here's Alex Hislop. Finds Smith. Turns inside. Finds Daly. Was offside. Can there be a winner today? Can there be a winner today? Tied at the moment. Kingston College would have the advantage based on away goal. Away goals. Here's Daly. Alex James calm under the pressure. Doing very well on that occasion. Throw and taken quickly. Fletcher. Pressed by Les. Appeals for a handball. As Fletcher tried to whip it across, Les was there in the area, but those have been rejected. Mario Swaby on screen. Getting ready to come on the park. Here's Demain Smith. Lifts it up, headed out by the captain, Elijah White. He's still down. And I wonder how much minutes will be given for additional time, Lejay. I've seen quite a few of those stoppages. Yeah, it would be quite surprised if we don't see five or more so many stoppages as you mentioned one of the goal scorers the Mario Daly being replaced by Mario Swaby Daily yeah the storied history of schoolboy football certainly another installation in all of that today not just in this encounter but all across the island So good news, Leighton Murray is breathing on his own at the hospital, still doing a few checks, but absolutely happy to hear that. Some other results coming in from the Manning Cup, Mona lead Jonathan Grant with a goal to nil, Heidel and Excelsior nil all, JC three goals ahead of Eltham, Manchester, beating Taki 4-1. And Christopher Taylor, who would have done commentary midweek in the encounter between McGran, Edwin Allen, and William Nib. And Central, giving some timely updates. So eight minutes of time to be added on. 
can there be a winner for either team? Reese with the throw in, gets it deep in the area. Champion players there looking a bit winded. Brian giving it away cheaply. Asher Harrison playing it up forward. Faulkner trying to chase. Brian just shielding that one, stretching his legs as well. Throw and check it. Byfield. Yet another foul call against Campion College. They're racking up. And Kingston College with another opportunity. With a set piece. Reese with the searching ball. Cut out by Jelani Harvey. Here's Byfield. Trying to get by one. Harrison gives away the corner kick. Substitution by Campion David Thompson coming in for the goal scorer Tyler Falconer. Here's the delivery headed out, but at the back post, the captain has struck for Kingston College. Robertio, three-two for Kingston College in added time. The comeback of Kings, the heart of a champion, the stuff of legends. The rejoicing of a past student. It's all happening here. And it's that man again. He has done it for them previously in this season. See how he's come up clutch. Not only in a defensive sense, but now in an offensive one as well. And who else but the captain to will his team back? They say the brave may fall but never yield. But here's Campion. They are not yielding. And Les was in the thick of things on that occasion. Kingston College able to play out now. So the CEO of PFJL, Owen Hill, predicted a 3-2 win for Kingston College. He must feel happy now, seeing that play out, but there's still football left. They have been knocking all second half. And eventually, all that knocking told. Campion have one last attempt here. Can they get something from a set piece again? Here's Fletcher. Spreading that one nicely for Smith. Can this be another goal for Kingston College? Smith. That play broken up. Here's Green. Connects again with Smith. That ball 
to Byfield. Easily handled by Alex James. Mario Swaby flying a bit too much force on the follow through. What a moment. What a matchup, Lejay Williams. What drama we've seen today. Yeah, not many would have expected this one. I'm sure you came into this one thinking that it would be a stroll in the park, even a comfortable win, but Kingston College and their supporters, the team, they've had to dig deep, and they did dig deep. And they're up in the first leg of this tie, 3-2 now. So based on the seedings, we can have a, an idea of the quarterfinal and final groupings. Here's Byfield, Byfield, Byfield. Marcus Steele doing well there to avert all the danger. So, Jay Zimin is shown a red card. He's off to an early shower. Can Campion take advantage of the man advantage well they can't the referee has seen enough Romario Francis blows the final whistle and what drama we've seen at the JC Ashenheim Stadium Campion College led 2-0 at the half and Kingston College with the comeback of Kings 3-2 what a match of drama. What a fight back. What a comeback. What a relief. Still. They really had to dig deep. And that man had instrumental play, Demario Daly. Starting the revival. But it really was a team effort from Kingston College. Confirmation. Confirmation of the full-time score. Kingston College 3, Campion College 2. Daly, Brian and Xiao being the instigators. Here are the full match highlights. Kingston College started brightly and they had a few half chances in the first half, though tragedy would strike for them. Look at that attempt from Demario Daly, acrobatic in nature. That shot would have tested goalkeeper Alex James. Came from Alex Hislop, parried away. But in the 20th minute, Malik Williams gifted Faulkner this goal. A back pass directly to the champion number 16 and he made no mistake from point blank range heartbreak heartache for kingston college at that moment the salutes were on look at this ball over the top over malik williams misjudging it and jazz less putting himself in the line of fire really heading on running into the upright and that was a tough goal to convert for Jazz Less. Kingston College would continue to fight back though. And this was a, a, a build-up play again. Robert Sow rising, unable to get that header on target. This was 
adjudged to be offside. It was converted by the substitute, Deshaun Byfield. But the offside flag was up. They didn't give up. Look at this attempted bicycle kick from Demario Daly again. Second ac acrobatic attempt. Jazzless would have a shot. And another header from Byfield, rather from Daly. But second half action, the revival would start. Byfield coming inside, playing the ball through to Daly. He fired home from point blank range. That was the beginning of the comeback for Kingston College. What a moment for them. Hope was rising at the Ashenheim Stadium. Cool finish from point blank range. Demario Daly, the number nine, 11 goals on the season. This came forward and had to be powered away by goalkeeper Alex James. Kimani Reese had this delivery. It was played out. And Anil Bryan, the transfer from Titchfield. He struck that one with confidence and bang in the back of the net, the number four for Kingston College coming up trumps. 2-2 at that time. In at a time, that ball flicked across by Elijah White. And the captain to the captain. What a gift. 3-2 for Kingston College. They win courtesy of that conversion by the captain, Robert Xiao. Relief. Finality. Romario Francis saw enough. Here are the match statistics. Three shots from five on target for Campion. Ten shots from 27 for Kingston College. Six fouls apiece. Three yellow cards for Kingston College. One for Campion College. They also shown a red card, Kingston College. They had six offsides, including that closely contested one that was converted by Byfield. Two for Campion College. Kingston College, they're attacking Prowess was showing in the corner statistic. Nine corners to Campion College's two. Alex James had to make five saves and the lion's share of the possession as well as the majority of the goals to Kingston College. 60% of the possession. Three goals for them. Campion only at two. We go to Kimani. He has the man of the match. All right, thank you, Dean. I'm joined by man of the match, the Mario Daly of Kingston College. Congratulations, sir. All right, let me have a little chat with you now, the Mario. You, you just told me that you feel emotional right yeah. now. Speak to me about the feelings you're having. Well, we came into the game. We came out a little, not, not strong enough, but we just came out to the halftime and said, we're going to come stronger because the Birmingham Fire would never yield. That's what I told my team. We're going to come again and conquer this second half. And in terms of your coach, how much did he you know, instill in you guys the confidence to come back to this? Well, as four teams, we have this lion-out mentality. So we never give up. So we come again and destroy people in the second half. That's how we did. And talk to me about the crowd in particular, because you have a lot of support in the crowd. Um, how much did that play a factor in you coming back? Well, all of my people are KC old boys. All of my people went to, came to KC. So I went to my fans because they really care for me and they take care of me. So I showed them that love that I'm here for them. I'm going to bring them this title for them. I'm going to do everything for them. So I just went to them and showed them, come again, because we're ready. And you told me in particular that you wanted this man of the match here today. Yeah, How relieved the Camperdown match and the Charlie Smith match, I really wanted it. But you never, you never rush God's timing. I really prayed for this one. I saw myself I would come out here and play to the highest of my abilities for my team. And I just got this man of the match. So I'm very thankful and grateful for you, you guys choosing me for this man of the match. All right, congratulations, Demario. Thank you. All the best. Yeah, that's Demario. <laughs> A very candid man. You see, I'm joined now by champion coach Ashton Blankson. Coach, it seemed like so smooth sailing at first, but Casey came raging back. What happened? I mean, I thought um, the players got a little tired. I think um, the, the legs got tired and, you know, started to see where the, the heads dropped, you know, and the goals came in. But um, I think we, all, we battled all the way to the end. I think unfortunate to, to, to lose this game because I think we started off very strong. Um, but yeah, we have to build for the next match, the 90 minutes to go. Well, you're down 3-2 going into that game. What do you seek to address going into that second leg? I mean, I think it's just a belief. I think we even saw as the second half came up, 
when we pass the ball, that's our game. That's what is really going to be our staple. So going back to that in the second game, that will carry us further. I remember you last year re making reference to TV games in particular and how it impacts your boys. Do you think that had any bearing on the result here today? I mean, I think this is probably one of our best results on TV. I think the players really stepped up a lot more. I think it's just more fatigue that played a factor towards the end. Um, but the, the moment is just we keep coming on the TV, so they'll just get better and better at it. And they saw a better performance. So maybe give us another TV game, see what happens on Wednesday. Yeah, and lastly, about the fitness levels of your boys, how quickly can you fix that going into the next game? I mean, when you start four, five, 14 year olds, there's a limit of what you can do. And I know the, the tournament for under 16 has started, so there's a little bit of limitation to what we can do. But I mean, we just need 14, 15 players, and they say we can beat this team. All right, thank you, Coach. All the best. Ah, uh, thanks. Yeah, that was Coach Blankson there. I'm joined now by the man draped in purple and white, Coach Vassal Reynolds. What a result, Coach. Where do I start? How did you see that game? Ah, uh, tough one, tough one. Um gave up what we, what we thought were two soft goals, but I mean, it's a part of the game. Um, those two goals were, I thought, was against a runoff play. Um, we had full control of the game, I thought, up to those two goals. Um, and we kept, we kept trying, we kept, we kept pushing the champion team back uh, and just couldn't find that goal. You know, um, half time we asked the guys to dig in. One of the things that we, we were certain of is that we were going to um, run them to the ground. Um, so I guess in the end, uh, fitness tells and um, we were more efficient in the second half and now uh, we have scored three goals. In particular, speak to me about that goalkeeper change because it was a big discussion point in that first half. What, what happened there? It, Malik was not feeling too well. Um, I would think as a coach we have to, we have to make some decisions. Um, as, as, as a head of the coaching staff, we made a decision to, put, to get him in. Um, and, we, 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 we were, and we thought that we would have prepared our second string in case. You know, and, and it just didn't work quite, quite well enough for us. Um, but this was just a call that we had to make. And you came back from 2-0 down. I know you're not really a KC man, but you're draped in purple and white. And it seems like you took some of the motto and you know, instilled it in those boys today. Very much so. And we asked him from the, from the beginning of the season, young and inexperienced team, but we asked him to always give the fighting spirit that, that is um, always becoming a fucking son college team. And we saw that today, 2-0 down at half time. Very, very good performance, and I'm proud of them. All right, thank you, coach. Yeah, man, thanks. It's a man in cup on Sportsmax Plus and YouTube, Mona versus Jonathan Grant live Wednesday, 12.30 p.m., 1.30 in the rest of the Caribbean. Jamaica College versus Eltham Wednesday, 3.15 p.m., 4.15 in the rest of the Caribbean. It's a Da Costa Cup on Sportsmax, BB Coke versus Manchester High, Wednesday, 12.30 p.m., 1.30 in the rest of the Caribbean. And a big matchup, St. Elizabeth Technical, Clarendon College, 3.15, 4.15 in the rest of the Caribbean. That's on Sportsmax. It's a Da Costa Cup coming your way. Confirmation of the full-time score, Kingston College 3, Campion College 2. First leg action in the round of 16 in the Manning Cup. It was the, the comeback of Kings. And what a moment we saw. A great addition in our sporting legacy. It's a Manning Cup. Yo, it's a... Come on in. Boy football look this season. People am ready, you know. All right, then. Pico, Manning Cup. Oliver Yashil, you make me link up. We watch the Champions Cup. Ben Francis, what a cup. Which team are win the championship this season? Yo, it's a... Papa Van Diver School, I go finish the league and beat now. Which you I go collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people? Yo, it's a... Me see fans are roll out all boat, be a flag for a vehicle. Looking at the good, bus loan, I support us from school and community too. People, nothing at the stand, some are listen to the radio, but some are watching on TV too. Country and turn your night for one reason. It's a schoolboy football. Go come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and I go better than the best and if I hear team beat your chest. It's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. Yo, it's a... That, that, that.
that competition I never have it nice up. People love see when boy I get dice up on the field. I'm goal a score from far and them love with peaceful and the youths now walk. Yo, it's a schoolboy football, no local. The youths are move on to international big league. And I steal people out, but member which party start. It's a schoolboy football. Run, come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and I got better than the best and if I hear team beat your chest. It's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall.